Well, it is day seven now. We've been at this for a week. Everybody's sleeping. Because that's what we do. Of course, it's three in the morning, so I can't blame them. I like to be asleep at three in the morning also. What's up, my pylons? I'm Gamer, Gamer Pile, and welcome back to my first look of Space Haven, the space survival sim game. This is my spaceship. Not much to look at right now, but we've got engines as of last time, so that's pretty cool. And we've got a bridge. You can see the bridge right up here. We also discovered a derelict spaceship and totally dismantled it and got all the cool stuff from there. We are finally... We have one more thing of carbon left on this asteroid. The rest of it we've managed to nab. So that's pretty cool. Well, golly. Last time we were we got another crew member. That might have been two times ago. I ran them at the same time when I was recording them, but I so I apologize. The uh was it the no, it was Chrysanthemum joined us. I'm pretty sure it was Chrysanthemum. She was on the derelict ship in one of these here. Uh, cryo sleep chambers. We also extended our ship and built a really sweet hyperdrive. So today's mission, after we finish clearing out the uh, clearing out this sector, our mission today is going to be to execute a hyperspace jump. So we're going to do that. We'll read through that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, figure that out. What are our insufficient resources? Ah, yes, our meat. We are growing our, we are growing our meat in this here grow bed with light. And we don't have enough lying around to be able to plant additional crops. So hopefully after we as, as I'm looking at this, is it overview that does that? No, is it grow? Ah, it's grow. So you can see that we are growing fruits, vegetables, and meat, which is exactly what we need more of. And they are all at well, this one's only 76%. The rest are in the uh, 80s. And they'll be done soon. Hopefully some of those will be turned back into additional growing things. That'll allow us to have more resources as food. And then we will hopefully be able to make our way. Oh, we're not, we never started going. I'm like, why is no one moving? I feel like I've been talking for a very long time. We have more we have to do eventually. But that's okay. Let's check out what everybody's going to do. I think they get a little bit of time to just chillax. They have an hour when they wake up, around 5. Now it's 6, so they should go start going to do stuff. This looks like they're going to go and gather some resources from the ship. This is our little shuttle. We also have a couple of pods here, and this pod is likely going to be going straight to this asteroid to get the very last bit of carbon out of it. That's pretty cool. Now, I gotta tell you something. I am enjoying this game. There are parts of it, obviously, that are not complete and are, are you know, that can be a little frustrating. We found that out a couple of episodes ago. New turn. What does that mean? What did, I, what did new turn mean? I didn't get a chance to click it, but it said new turn. I'm gonna write that down. I've got my handy dandy notebook right here. So I'm gonna write down new turn so that I don't forget to look it up and be able to tell you what that is. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to go dismantle everything we can from this ship, take all the resources we're able to, and then we're going to get on out of here. Sweet. There's a chance we'll get through two days worth today in this episode because I'm going to try and keep everything just pretty much running on fast. We got three here. Or four. Faster. I'm sorry. Is this fast here? That's fast. Normal fast, faster, fastest. Uh, why couldn't it be faster? I wanted it to be faster. So I want to also check and make sure that everybody's not hungry. It doesn't tell me if they're hungry. It tells me their health, their sleep, their oxygen level, and their happiness level. But it doesn't tell me whether she's hungry or not. Maybe this is eat. Maybe maybe you're, by eating you regain health like in those old games from the 90s. So maybe that's what that means. She did just go to the kitchen so that could make sense that her health would be full but she also is healthy so see, i really don't know air airlock blocked incoming transfer salvage mining blocked the airlock storage space is full i guess we're gonna have to build another storage space 
Click to show location. To fix the situation, or in, ensure there is enough free storage space. And if you look here, it's not completely full. Capacity 211 to 250. So hopefully someone will come along and move stuff out of the way. But maybe not. <laughs> then again, everybody's going to come over here and dismantle more stuff. Guys. Oh, boy. Well, at least we're getting the job done. I mean, that's a good thing, right? I do wish that we could have taken the stuff from the beds. Unattended tasks. Some tasks are being neglected. Oh, like bringing this stuff over. Who has highest on logistics? Let's go to let's go to personnel. We'll look at jobs. Logistics here. Everybody's got that set pretty high. The only thing Chrysanthemum is higher on is medical, and there's no medical issue right now, so she should be. Let's follow her around. Going to take a break. Well, yeah, are you? Wow, look at all the stuff we got. Dang, that's a lot of cool stuff there. What are you doing now? Carrying to facility. So we brought stuff to that thing. Oh, that's the composter. Oh, that's good. Grow. Oh, look at that. We must have had root vegetables finish. Let's find out. Hmm. I'm not sure. But here goes that ship again. They're going to pick stuff up. Christian's down here by himself. How's his O2 levels? Only about halfway to done. They're not... Their pathing probably could use a little bit of work. I don't know that they're really doing things very efficiently. So if I were the game developer, I would probably suggest, hey, you know, take a look at the take a look at the pathing and uh, try and have it be a little bit more, you know, set some kind of, of, of rule that talks about where they go and when and uh, amount of time for something to be finished. Like if I'm, fo I'm following Christian around and he looks like he's going just about everywhere. So, but again, you have to understand this is an alpha build. We are in alpha nine. I was looking up here because it says that in the <laughs> title screen, but it doesn't say that here. Uh, we are in alpha nine. Alpha nine is so early in a game's development. Any alpha number. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I was too slow. Unreachable task. I'm a little bit concerned that they're not going to be able to get back into this ship. Should we build another... Let's build another storage facility. Let's see. It's not going to be there. Storage. Probably, it might be in storage, though. We don't have a lot of space. So I'm just going to set it right... Oh, darn. I really do... Oh, we could put it there, I guess. For now, let's put it there. Man, this, <laughs> this ship is so disgustingly, overwhelmingly bad. There's just clutter everywhere. This is pretty rough. Where's everybody? Where's Theophilus is here. What's wrong with Theophilus? Oh, he's tired. Cannot sleep. Well, that's because he was on the shuttle. You don't have a, you can't just kick back and, and close your eyes while you're making your long trek from the derelict ship to here. Come on, man. Who does that? There's a lot of stuff we just took off of that ship. We got a lot of stuff off of that ship. It's like bare now. Too bad we can't keep dismantling the hull and stuff like that. Right, let's get through the night. All right, everybody's sleeping. Hey, day one's done. That's pretty cool. Less than 10 minutes. I think we're going to try and do the same thing today, too. Hopefully, they'll start stacking this stuff up, though. I want them to be able to get into and out of the airlock. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to bring more stuff onto the air off of the airlock. And it looks like that's what Cindy is up to right now. Well, once this gets filled up, which is not yet, but once it does... Oh, it looks like we also have more growing happening. Oh, yeah, everything finished. And now we have... Uh, we got more stuff. Sweet. Unattended tasks. What's this one? Well, that's fine, because everyone's doing what they're doing when they can do it. I mean, you can only do one thing at a time. So these are a little bit frustrating. It also doesn't tell me what they need. So another suggestion I would make to the developers is, uh, rather than just saying there's unattended tasks, say, hey, you know, there's a problem over here. It needs to be done, but it isn't being done 
and then either say why it's not being done, possibly, or uh, something else like that. Ship storage full. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to get you to build all this, man. And I don't think I can. I can only have her... I can only have her move. I can't... I can't make them do something. Uh, if I select this as high construction priority, okay, so maybe we'll, maybe that will help. So that's that's another thing that I think I've been frustrated with other frustrated with other times. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of looking around for that too. I'm gonna go ahead and and select that uh, force building. That will be good enough note for me. I like to keep a notebook right here so that I can take notes of the things that I like, don't like, and uh, know what I'm, know what to talk about. Look up off screen so that I can help out with that. That has gotten me through all sorts of fun stuff. Well, it is day seven now. We've been at this for a week. Everybody's sleeping because that's what we do. Of course, it's three in the morning, so I can't blame them. I like to be asleep at three in the morning also, but I do want them to build this storage. I'm going to take the walls all the way down. It's just easier to see that way. Oh, they've got this built. Oh, excellent. And we're already filling it up. So the good, 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 good. It did happen. It just, you know, it takes a while for them to do it. Uh, are we back over here doing more stuff? Yeah. Oh, wow. They can. They take the hull right apart. These bulkheads. Wow. Well, there's not going to be anything left for anybody else to take. That's for sure. Do we get the airlock too? Because that'd be pretty cool. What about the bugs? Oh, there's something still there, though. There's something still there, and I want it, but it I don't know that I'm going to be able to get it because now we don't have any bulkheads. All right, well, we're going to definitely... We should definitely be able to make a hyperspace jump today, which really makes me happy. I'm, I'm glad about that. Let's see if we can't figure out this power grid thing. So, yeah, we are at... 190 stored. We're generating 8 per second, but only consuming 0.1 per second. Part of the reason for that is because it's being spread to these power nodes, it, I think, I'm assuming, because this is uh, high. This is consistently higher than this one. It has more things attached to it, I suppose. And uh, it's running separate. It's a different amount in red as here. This stored must be, you know, uh, power. Oh, it looks like everybody's just kind of idling. Um, no, it's it's idle time. That's why. Um, yeah, so I think we're in a good spot. But I wonder. I have a feeling if I turned on all the systems, that would probably that would probably change the amount of energy that is being produced compared to used. This is actually. I really love this layout. This is fantastic. I can see at a glance what's using the most power. This is kind of like when you press Control Alt Delete and then open up Task Manager. This shows you in real time exactly what is draining power what is uh storing power what is generating power this is awesome props to the dev on to the devs on this i like that a lot okay what's everybody doing let's wait until it's about seven new turn oh okay so the turn has something to do with maybe something <laughs> and are we just kind of idling around yeah we're idling i think we're done i think we've got everything we're going to get oh it looks like someone did come and get this i wish we could get this airlock Oxygen, 5,200. Wow, it actually has its own oxygen rating here. All right, we're going to turn off the power overlay. And we are going to make a hyperspace jump. Let's see how to do this. Okay, open up the systems menu. Remember, we found where that was. That is one of these guys up here. Which one is it again? Systems, this guy. Okay, and give the command to prepare for a hyperspace jump. Wait until the crew charges up has charged up the hyperdrives and then press the jump button. So I think we can actually charge it manually from here. Um, but perhaps not. Overview. What's this? Hyperfuel. Oh, there's hyperfuel. That's cool. Well, right, this is the our this is our navigation console. Uh, I think that has something to do with it. But first we th first things we have to do is go over to systems. Give the command to prepare for a hyperspace jump. Prepare, prepare hyper jump. All right. So we're going to do this. Jump online. Mining pods recalled. Shuttles are restricted. Okay, that's cool. So that's, you're not going to leave somebody behind. That's good. Uh, good. I'm glad they thought of that. 
Systems readiness level. Operations offline cannot communicate with other factions. Let's go ahead and turn on navigation. Um, let's keep it here for now. I wonder what will happen. Will they still use it even if it's set to only as needed or on demand as they use? Let's find that out. Oh, well, yeah, Cindy went straight there, so she's getting the hyperspace ready. Oh, they look... They look good here. Look at that. Fuel to hyper jump ratio, 10. Mass capacity, so 1,600. 1,600 what? I wonder. We have one hyper fuel in here. Is it ready to go? Wait till the crew has charged up the hyper drives and then press the jump button. Is that still in statistics? Or statistics? Systems? <laughs> Um, so we're ready, it looks like. So I'm going to jump. What do we do with jump? Whoa, we went somewhere. Where did we go? Well, what if we go here? I have a feeling that there were these blue things that got me distracted last time I was in the middle of a sentence. I saw it, and then I stopped talking about whatever it was that I was talking about because I completely forgot that I was talking about it. So, yeah, oh, yeah, they, they, they did one of those things. It was really pretty and mesmerizing, kind of like a lava lamp. Uh, so I think we're going to go right here. Planet 78. How do I do that? Oh, I just double click. Ah, and now look at this. So my sphere of influence appears to have increased a bit. I don't know what all of these symbols mean, but choose the next de uh, destination or drop to normal space. Double click on target sector to travel. Well, we did that. Let's just go to the very next one. That might be good for us, and we will drop in. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can be in hyperspace and still look. Oh, here we go. Deploy fleet to sector. Drag and drop your fleet to the sector. All your ships must be in the sector. Um, oh, I can put it wherever I want. I am just going to keep it in the middle. That's nice and neat. And then we're going to deploy. Does that do it? All right. And we're in normal space. And it looks like there is nothing else here. Welp. Prepare for interstellar travel. Explore the star system by jumping into hyperspace. Gather resources, explore derelict ships, trade, survive, and expand your spaceship. Build hypersleep chambers for your crew and embark on interstellar travel through the star system hyperlane. Traveling within a star system does not require chambers. Okay. You can jump to hyperspace from the system's menu. So here's what I, I wonder if I could do, because I'm running out of space here. I wonder if I could have a, uh, a home ship and a systems ship. So, like, this will be the logistics ship, the, the, the capital ship. And uh, the home ship will just have some minimal, you know, life support, weapons, shields, systems for defense. Uh, but this has, like, all of the stuff on it. And uh, obviously, also, it would, you know, it would be able to attack and defend, because you don't want to lose your logistics ship. Gosh. Uh, but it would be much, it would be the bigger ship. The other one would be much smaller. I might actually do that. You could have speci uh, specialized ships. You could jump to hyperspace from the systems menu. We did that before. Build menu for objects, facilities, hypersleep chamber. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Here we are. We made it. But there's nothing here. There's nothing here for us to explore. So we're going to have to go back into hyperspace. Pair hyper jump. Let's go a little faster. Oh, okay, they're charging it up. And we're going to jump. We're going to go right to. Looks like. Oh, so these icons, that must be what it is. So these icons must have something to do with what's here. So there must be an ice asteroid, and then whatever that is, carbon or whatever, and then whatever this one is too. I don't know what the three dots mean, if maybe that means an enemy. I hope not, because I don't have any weapon systems or shield systems yet, not built. But let's find out. I want, I want to know that I'm going to have the ability to get more things. Well, this one dropped out, so this these... I thought this was like territory that you owned or something. It looks though like this territory is merely uh, where you can jump to next instead. So it makes it a little bit less useless. I wish that it were explored territory even, if not owned territory. Uh, but that's that's just me. I'm going to drop out of here. Oh, that is so cool looking. I do like this kind of graphic. I wish that I had the, the walls up so that it could be seen better. Okay. Why don't we go right here so that we are in between these and we will deploy. We will pause and we are going to go ahead and mine. 
We're gonna mine everything. Mine. Check. Did that save it? And then we're gonna mine this one too. All right, and that should give us some more water. Some more, I believe this is carbon. Base metals. So this is metals, not carbon at all. All right, and they are they are going to uh, take care of this. The rest of them are just going to live here for a bit. What if we start, to, you know, I really think we should get a uh, shield and weapon system active. So I'm going to go, now that we have a little bit more uh, materiel, let's go ahead and build some of those systems. We'll get a shield generator first, because that can always get us out of trouble if we need. Um, I don't think I can walk through there if I do that. I'll do that there. And we'll take an energy turret, I guess, and put it right there. I don't know if we're going to be able to walk through stuff. That's the only problem. Ugh, get out of there. I am going to need to move this table, though. So let's go ahead and move this to right here for now. Actually, you know what I'll do? Oh, 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 oh. Cancel. We're going to move this like that. Move this. No, no, don't dismantle it. To there. Yeah, I think there. And let's go from there and see what happens. So they're going to build this first, of course, because that's what they're going to do. But Let's see if any of them move the chair. This should give me a little bit more space. I don't know how much more space, but at least I can get three chairs in still. long. Oh, we just got to build it at the new spot. Okay, so this is one only one square wide, so if I set that there, and then have somebody actually do that thing, and then I can move this doo -doo -doo, right there, and I'll just set this down there, I guess. And hopefully that'll give me a place to walk past without having to go all the way down here and around. Oh yeah, so he's still sitting here. That's a much more efficient use of my space. There were, ob there were areas over here I couldn't even reach. Might have seen that in a previous episode. All right. Well, we are gonna get this stuff set. Once we get this set, we'll continue to explore a little bit more. But I, don't, I really don't wanna do this without that. Is there a reason why we're not building? Oh, insufficient resources. What do we need? We need three more, is this techno blocks? And one, two more, whatever those are? What are those ones? I don't even know what those are. Well, you know what? I hate to do this, but let us... Let us, uh, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to remove the blueprint for this. That should give me more stuff. I don't know if it's going to have enough to build this again. But hopefully it does, but it doesn't look like it is. Energy block, infra block. So what is it we need? We have more infra blocks. Now we need one more techno block, I think is what that is. Maybe that is, no, it's got a little housey looking thing. What did I even get here? Tech scrap. Can I be trans, oh, at a recycler. Transformed into usable materials as a recycler. Don't I have a recycler? Stabilizer, water purifier. What does a recycler look like? Maybe I can build a recycler. Go to, um, what would that be under, I suppose? Food, no, resource. Resource, recycler right there. Oh my gosh, everything in this game is huge. All right, so I think for, we're going to temporarily place a recycler. Can I move this to right? Oh, it needs all that space. Oh my gosh, it needs so much space. Everything needs so much space. What if we put that? I can't put that there because the airlock is there. Well, son of a gun. Oh, you know what? Oh, can I move the airlock? Okay, this is going to be crazy. Ship must have at least one functional airlock. Okay, that's too bad. I was going to try and move that to here, and then I could build off another wing like I have on this side, but... 
Narrow ye mind. I guess we're going to build a sideways ship. This is going to be cool. It's going to be a sideways ship. So let's go ahead down here. We're going to build... Uh, edit. Build hull. So we have one here. I'm going to build an identical one. We are two squares off. One, two. So right there. And we go all the way to... All the way to there. And we have one, two, three, four, five spots in the middle. All right, so just like this. And let's try that. That sh They should go ahead and do that like s super fast because there's not much else to do here. We have already mined both of these mines clear out. We are strip mining everywhere. Which is funny because on my episode earlier today of Stardew Valley, I also strip mined a whole bunch of stuff. You can check that out on my YouTube channel. But I think that's probably a good point for us to stop. It's the middle of the night now. I think that's probably going to be a good spot to stop. We will continue next time taking a look at, uh, see if we can get a recycler in here, get additional materials, build ourselves a shield generator. No, this is the energy weapon. Build the energy weapon so we can at least defend ourselves and uh, then hopefully also build a shield generator afterward. Uh, so that's what we're going to do right now. I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, ding that bell. Please leave a comment telling me uh, what options you think look interesting, what you want me to show want me to show you next. I'll be happy to do that for you. Uh, in the meantime, check out these videos on your screen. I think you're going to like them. So do YouTube's algorithms. So uh, there's always that. And until next time, my pylons, stay safe and be well.